no proof. They not even saying allegedly. They not even saying in my opinion, I think. No, they saying directly that the daughter set up Young Dove. Yeah, she set up Young Dove, the cookie lady's daughter, the, the, the cookie girl. She set up Dove. Dude just analyzing her interview frame by frame, second by second, just chopping it up and saying, yeah, see right there? Yeah, 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 see what she said? I'm going to tell you one thing. You're putting these people's lives in danger. Now, it's one thying when dudes was saying the goons did it, when dudes was saying them street Bobby and, and straight and this one and that one, because them street niggas is with shits. Them street is involved directly or indirectly. But we still don't know which one of the two is in that video shooting at Young Dolph. But this lady and her family, they are domesticated people, civilized people, who've been running a business, running a cookie shop for 26 years. 26 years they've been in the community to where they now have two cookie stores. Dolph went to that shop religiously. Dolph supported the family. Dolph supported the cookie shop. And if there was any suspicions, who give us the right? Who give you, YouTubers that's talking the right to judge these people? And you're not from their city. You're not from their town. You don't know this cookie lady, the cookie family. You don't even know what the damn cookie store is. Let Dolph family come out. Let Dolph people come out and say, wait a minute, I, I think it's suspect. But for y'all to just be running your mouths and you have no evidence. You have no evidence of what you're saying. No evidence. You know, you're just saying, yes, yeah, yeah, she set up Dolph. Nobody's saying allegedly. Nobody's saying, I think. Nobody's saying, in my opinion. There's nothing documented, no nothing where we can say other than people saying she set Dolph up. Come on, man. Even if you feel this lady or the girl set up young Dolph, it's still not safe to just jump out the window like that. It's not safe. Wait. Let's wait and see. Or say, in my opinion, say allegedly, say, 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 well, I don't know, but I feel like the YouTubers that's doing this, I feel like one thing. One, they must not have seen somebody died in, in front of them before. They must not have seen violence, vigilante violence. They must not have seen mob violence where a mob of people decide, yeah, he did it. He did it. And go get that person and come to find out the next day it wasn't him or it wasn't her. And, and it's nothing to play with. That's why I've never mentioned anything about the cookie store yet. My attention is not even on the cookie store. My attention is on who killed Young Dolph. Who are responsible? Who owned the car? Who owned the house the car pulled up at? That's that's what I'm looking into. I'm not looking at the, the cookie family and, and, and that family. They make cookies. They're not out in the street with, with, with CEO Bobby and straight drop. And, and Joe Joe Splat and all these weird named dudes out there that's creating havoc in the streets. Now, and then y'all want to say the, the, the girl's a stripper and all strippers are like, and you can't trust, you know, no stripper and this and that. Like, how you know the girl's a stripper? Did any one of you seen her stripping? Do you have pictures that she stripped? Show us the picture. Show us the video. Show us the proof. Am I personally defending the, the, the daughter of the cookie place? No. Am I defending 
the people that own the cookie place. No. What I am simply saying from day one, when you put information out and you running with it, have some kind of proof, man. You can't say Shorty set up Duff and we don't have no proof because that's a, that's a major, a major accusation to, to, be, to be made in, in the climate of what's going on where there's a lot of revenge killing. People have died. And to make the claim in this environment right now, that the cookie lady got something to do with it. The cookie lady's daughter, the whole cookie family, they just crooked. Yeah, they set Dolph up. They stories, and this story, and did you hear what she said right here? Dudes, y'all got to stop. I've seen that before. And all it takes is one influential person in the community to agree with that. And then there's a mob coming at that cookie store. And they will burn that store down. They will drag that family out, whoever is there, and they probably stone them, beat them, probably shoot them to death. And the blood will be on your hands, on your hands. I have no evidence so far. Nobody is telling me anything. Not even my video people uh, for the department is telling me anything about the cookie lady. Now, if that come up, then, yeah, I'll touch on that. But right now, y'all don't got no proof that the cookie lady got is is the one behind. Like, she's, they talking like she's the mastermind behind Dobbs' murder. And here's the crazy thing, right? If the cookie girl is responsible, if the family did line up Dolph or the daughter line up Dolph, then, yes, yeah, she deserves everything she get, and, and they deserve everything they get. But for right now, we don't know. What we do know is, is that the people with the shits, they've been telling on themselves. That's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at, that's direct evidence, that's evidence in our face, amongst other evidence that's out there. I, what I feel is because it's been being dragged out, this whole thing is being dragged out, people getting bored, and they're trying to find something to talk about, about this whole thing. they trying to, that's it. They're just trying to find something to talk about. Some people, they getting that green dollar sign. I, I Anything I put up with violence for some reason, they're not giving me the Even when I did the Alpo stuff, no green. Yellow, bunch of yellows, yellow, yellow, yellow. Some people are getting the sign when they monetize and they see some type of money, and they looking at it like, man, who cares about their lives? I'm running with this. For me, I just feel like when I was young back in Jamaica, I'm from Rockford, Jamaica, Kingston, downtown Kingston. I've seen a lot of this mob mentality. Whether it was a gay person in the community been in the community because Jamaicans when I was coming up I don't know about the ones now they live the Bible everything they live they quote the Bible live the Bible and one thing with the with the um sexuality thing Jamaicans you know we don't play that thing right when especially when I was younger now it's a little different because even now with me and religion you know, it's a, I have a different relationship with religion right now. So I get it now. But back then, we was on our Bible or whatever. And I've seen the mob went after nowadays, but I've seen the mob went after people that was accused of other things and, and dragged them out their house and kill, bloodshed. Okay, so I know where this can go. When you see these people posting anything like, yeah, update, I know what happened. Some of them say that, like, I know what who killed Dolph. I know this. I know, right? With no evidence. They just, when you click the video, it's just a photo, and they're talking, and they go around what they put in the topic. 
We can't allow it to happen. We have to be responsible. We saw what happened with Biggie Smalls and Tupac Shakur, where the media was egging it on and the media was dragging it out, even when the beef was dead at times, even when Sugar and Puff, you know what I'm saying, kind of talked it out. You know what I mean? Even when even when uh, other people like Zip, Von Zip and certain people try to piece it out somehow, it went the way it went because I blame Puff and I blame Shug. That beef wasn't really about Tupac and Biggie. Now, Pac seen how it was, you could monetize the beef. So he ran with it because he seen the money that was being generated. He knows Biggie had nothing to do with him being set up. He knew Tupac knew who, who set him up and Tupac knew who shot him. Which Tupac shot his own damn self, so he was one of his own shooters that day in with with the elevator and all that at Quad Studios. But it was the media that egged it on, and the media, and, and that's what I see these YouTubers doing. They don't care about these people's lives, and they don't care about how they built their business from the ground up. And 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 Dolph built his career from the ground up, and he respect people like that, you know. So we, you know, it got to stop. You got to stop. So everybody, if you see these people, man, you let them know, man. You let them know. Listen, man, show us the proof. Show us the proof. All y'all got to do is show us the proof. Other, other than that, if they're not saying they think or allegedly I believe, they're not even saying I believe. They're saying, yeah, she did it. She set him up. That man and his wife got kids. And their children got kids, which make them grandparents. And that's a family, a black family. We already saw lives being taken. People dying over this whole Dolph beef and all that's going on in Memphis right now. The last thing I want to do on my platform is say, yeah, that female or that family, the Cookie family, lined Dolph up. Yeah, they the masterminds. Come on, man. Sean and HD TV. Come on. Get, don't forget to hit them likes, man. We got to get the likes up. Hit the subscribe button. That's what's working for me right now. I might not be getting the views that all these people getting. But one thing I do know is that my, my subscribership, every time I put a video up, I gain one or two new subscribers. So at least I see that growing. As far as my views, maybe one day we'll get there. But one thing I do know, I hope my message reaching everybody right now. I hope this get a lot of views because then it, I know a lot of people would have heard this message. That is a family, y'all. We we can't get we cannot allow these YouTubers to incite a mob to go attack those people and loot the cookie store and burn it down. Imagine how Dolph would have felt, man. And I don't know that family. I just know it's an ugly thing to see that. A mob, when the mob get together and they grab you out your house, drag you out your, your business, torch, burn, and kill your family in front of you, that's what y'all want to see? So we, we got to be responsible with how we doing this. Yeah, we giving out information, but we got to be responsible. They need to be responsible. But some of them just doing it for, for the views and they doing it because they get the green dollar signs and they see the income coming and they running with it. But we can't allow that to happen. We responsible over here, right, y'all? We responsible over here. You know what I mean? So we not about that. We going to get the information. We going to find out what happened to Dolph. We going to find out about the Alpo situation as well. Right now, everything is on ice. But sooner or later... Somebody going to say something to the boy. Somebody going to leak something to me. And I will put that information out responsibly. You heard? Sean and HDTV, thanks for tuning in. Tell a friend to tell a friend.